Hey guys, Jamie here, Sportsman's Guy. Today I want to talk about customizing your AR-15. Maybe you went out and bought an AR-15 during the last election rush. Or you got yourself a great deal on a price point AR. And now it's time to make it your own. It's easier than you think. Everything you need, you can find right here at the guide. For this build, we picked the Hair Arms Key Mod 12 inch forearm. It's got a Picatinny rail on top, key mod attachments on the side and bottom. So that way you can attach a forward grip, lights, lasers, whatever you want. Also with this build, we decided to put the minimalist stock on from MFT. This stock is very small, lightweight, it has a good feel for a solid cheek well. Next step is to deal with the trigger. We want to get rid of that mil spec mess that comes with most of these price point guns. For this build, we decided to use the Rise Armament 535 trigger. This trigger has a very short take up on it, very crisp, and operates about three and a half pounds. So we're going to get rid of the original charging handle. We decided to swap it out with this POF Rattler. It has oversized controls on it, make it easy for cold weather hunting situations, or just wearing duty gloves down at the range. Now it's time to get rid of that birdcage. We decided to use a double star Dragon muzzle brake. Functionally, it doesn't do a whole lot for you, but in low light conditions, this thing really blows fire. For our optics, we decided to use the Sniper cantilever mount. With this mount, it's got attachment points on three sides to be able to attach things like red dots. We really wanted this to stand out at the range, so we decided to give it a little bit of color. With that, we chose Wheeler Ceramico. It's a spray and bake finish, so after you're done spraying it, throw it in the oven to get that hard bake. I do say so myself, it's turned out pretty good. This hard coat bake that we put on there is going to be rugged and tough for all your tactical needs. We got the law system in here, folds out of the way, cool function that most people aren't seeing out there on the range. We decided, like I say, with the quad rail on top, we went with a Vortex Viper red dot for those close target acquisitions and put the one to six strike fire as well. We have a couple other flares on here that I think really tune this thing up to make this creation our own. For all the parts you've seen today, make sure and check out sportsmansguide.com. And one quick hint, join the Virus Club and get 10% off all your accessories and 5% off of guns and ammo. It's the best deal in shooting and you're only gonna find it at Sportsman's Guide.